Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this liquid fill up text animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's create another composition and let's call this text and all the things will remain same so just select the text tool and you can type whatever text you want i'm going to type motion and after that you can align the text in the center using the align panel if you're not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it now let's select this and also hold on the control key and just double click on this icon so that the anchor point is in the center let me just quickly scale this up something like this so let's go back to the main comp and i'm going to quickly drag my text over here and we are ready to add some shape layers. So make sure you are inside the comp and after that you can double click on the shape tool. Just like that and it will create a perfect rectangle. Now we can select this and let's move this little bit below. And after that we are going to apply an effect called wave warp. So just search for it and let's apply wave warp onto this. And I'm going to quickly change the pinning to all edges. And after that just play around with the width and height. So I think this is looking fine and now if I play back here you can see we have this really nice wave which is exactly what we want. So we are going to animate it and just make it come from the bottom. So now let's place it somewhere around here and after that select the layer press P for position let's add a keyframe and let's go to somewhere around 4 seconds and I'm going to just simply move it to the up just like this. So now if I play back here you can see we have this liquid rising animation and we can probably move this little bit more up something like this or we can make the keyframes come closer yeah i think this is looking fine now we can select these two layers and let's quickly change their color i'm going to make them blue and we can select the text layer and after that we can change the track mat to alpha mat and if you're not able to see the track mat option then you can click over here now if i play back here you can see that our text is revealing through the shape layer and we are going to just simply select this press ctrl d to duplicate both the layers and after that i'm going to change their color and let's offset them by a couple of frames so let me just zoom in and let's offset them by three frames after that press ctrl d once again and i'm going to move them three frames ahead and now let's just quickly apply fill and change color to all of these layers so just search for fill and let's apply fill to the bottom layer and i'm going to change its color to something like dark blue and after that you can copy this and just simply paste it onto the next layer and let's make this little light blue and after that we have the white color so there you go now you can see we have this animation now if you want more variation then you can just simply zoom in and let's move these layers and we can add more delay to these now to add more variation what you can do is you can select the shape layer and after that you can change their face something like this so that it will have a little bit of more variation just like that so once you're happy with it we are going to just simply drag the text layer once again and on this one i'm going to apply an effect called vegas so just search for it and just drag it onto the text and after that i'm going to select all of these layers and i'm going to just move them away and let's select this text and i'm going to change the blend mode from over to transparent and over here we are going to change a couple of settings so first i'm going to change the color to white number of segments to one and i'm going to increase the hardness a little bit now we can animate these trails by using the rotation something like this so for that let's add a keyframe for rotation and let's press u and after that let's go to somewhere around four seconds and after that you can change the rotation and i'm going to just simply set this negative one and now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice animation we can also select this press f9 and then go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph now let's select the endpoints and i'm going to just quickly change it to something like this so we have this really nice animation just like this and it's completely up to you you can increase the segments if you want you can have multiple strokes something like this but for this example i'm going to set this to one and after that we can select all of these layers and then just simply add it to our animation 
And now if I play back, here you can see first we have these really nice stroke lines. And after that our text fills up. Now let's add really nice glow to this. For that let's create an adjustment layer. And after that search for glow. And let's drag it onto this. And we are going to change the radius to something like this. And let's decrease the intensity. And I'm going to just make it really tight. After that, you can select the glow, press Ctrl D and on the second one, let's increase the glow radius and all you have to do is just play around with these settings until you find something that looks good. So once you're happy with it, we can add some scaling animation. For that, you can right click and let's go to the null object. After that, just place the null object over here. Let's select all of the layers and just parent it to the null. Now select the null, press S and we are going to add a keyframe. So in the beginning, let's increase its value. Something like this. After that, select the keyframes, press F9. And in the graph, let's change it to something like this. So now if I play back, here you can see we have this really nice scaling animation. Now if you want, you can add the opacity animation in the beginning of the strokes so that they are not visible. Something like this. So yeah, I think this is looking fine, but this is completely up to you. You can play around with its position. So now if I play back here, you can see we have this really nice text reveal animation. And this is how you can create these. And the best part is that this is all procedural. So if you want to change the text, all you have to do is just go inside the comp and just type your text. And after that, go back to the main comp and you can see that all the changes have been applied and you have to do nothing. You can play around with the colors and however you want. And this is how you can create these kind of animations. And the project file for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. If you have any queries or questions, then you can ask in the comments below. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.